Atlanta United in the home opener for the Five Stripes. And it's always great to get the snide off of your back for the first win in the Hainsey era. But uh, what are you guys' thoughts on the match? I'll let my uh, buddy Gabe here uh, kind of jump in. Go ahead, dude. I, I think it was a master class of a game by Sosa. And uh, Barco is showing so many good tricks and of course like always you know his decision making but today he was yeah i mean he's uh at the end of the day he's we're gonna kind of live and die by his his performances and um i thought he was very direct at times today and yeah there's times when he can maybe get rid of the ball quicker or make a different decision in the attacking third but at the end of the day, when you go back and look at the tape, he's involved in almost every uh, you know quality goal chance that we have, and he's a huge part of uh, our team going forward. Yeah, so uh, I think uh, go I for think it. every every part of the of the team or show off today, uh, from goalie to forward, we had a a great. Um, representation of what ATL is going to be this year and I think you know it may go under the radar but Lisandro he he played really 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 good for somebody that is 37 and yeah. you know he we saw that uh touch uh with uh Barco there and I think we're gonna have a good connection I think it's also gonna be huge to be able to have Joseph Fresh for the match on Tuesday against Philadelphia. So, um, yeah, the depth on the team this year is great. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, unchanged 11 from Orlando City. Was that a surprise to you guys? Or, uh, you know, there was talk that essentially Hainsey doesn't really rotate too much. And, uh, I mean, also, do you guys expect him to rotate on Tuesday? I think he's going to continue to... Just play players when it makes sense. I mean, um, yeah, we didn't change the starting eleven, but we saw minutes given to some, you know, relatively unproven players like Jack Gurr tonight. There's, you know, our roster is deep, and we have players that can fill a role. And I think, regardless of really who we put forward, I mean, we've got three really quality center backs. Franco hasn't even seen the field yet, and it's been a non-issue. Um, I mean, really, the only position we're kind of thin at in terms of depth is Sosa's position. Um, is he such a quality player that is, you know, the, it will be so hard to find a, a, a natural sub for him? But, I, you know, I, like we're just talking about that. That's probably the only position that we're going to have an issue this year because. He the team looks great, and if we go through the subs, I mean, yeah, damn. Eric, Eric Lopez, Joseph, Jurgen Dom, Frank. Like who? Who on there is like a wandering role player MLS guy? Mm -hmm. None of them. I mean, we, we're bringing in dynamic young players off the bench at pretty much every position. Um, I love that when we went up two nil late in the game. We were still getting forward. It wasn't like we were sitting in a shell. Um, we were still creating chances on goal to create that third goal. And, um, I mean, you can see it in the the choices Heinz is making in terms of who he's bringing on off the bench, but you can also just see it in the mentality of the players. Like We're going out to, to score goals and play exciting soccer. And we can see that when... when um... They scored the second goal, uh, and Georgian Dam was gonna come in. Hainse went to him, and he was like, went on his yeah. face, and that speaks a lot. That yeah. young, our young South American and uh, Latino players, they, I think they're responding to Gabby's managerial style very well. And um, you know, the sport is a passionate sport, and we shouldn't be running from that as a team. And um, it's exciting to see us playing with that passion again. Definitely. Yeah. You... Another... Mm -hmm. Go for it. Sorry. Another interesting topic I've seen already. Hainsey is 
scared of calling on the academy players and and i think that that is going to be very important for us i think that ability to call on uh the academy whenever we need it and uh, that that's going to be a great opportunity for us to you know from the academy to start showing off some of our players even though we have Belo, you know um, Belo is amazing Indeed, indeed. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, front to back, definitely, uh, you know, we see that depth for sure. Uh, but also, yeah, uh, let's talk about the game and the goals. I mean, yeah, very interesting. Uh, the first one, a colossal by Ezekiel Barco. Uh, yeah, what, what was you guys' reaction to that? I loved, uh, I loved the tenacity of him when Sosa's kind of stepping to that ball to, uh, to put it in on goal and Barco just kind of cuts him off. He's like, this, this is mine, like out of the way. And, uh, you know, that's what you want from a player in that role on the team. And, um, you know, it absolutely was, I wouldn't be surprised if it was the goal of the week this week. It, we jump, we started screaming and it was like, what a, what a beautiful goal. I think it's going to be the goal of the week. Uh, and what an amazing, uh, and we're being able to see now and Barco has been a part of the squad for a while, but we really haven't had a full season to watch him get consistent minutes um, under a under a manager who really aligns with how he plays. And I think that uh, he's going to continue to just. I mean, he causes problems. Mm-hmm. And he uh, he went straight to Joseph to celebrate. Uh, is that a, a surprise to you guys that uh, you know first person he goes to? I mean, Joseph's the heartbeat of the club. Like, there's no denying it. And um, I think the club in general, under a new manager, has worked really hard over the last call it two months to prepare for the first time they got to play in front of their home supporters in the bins. And mm. uh, it was great to see the team celebrate as, as a unit after that goal. Yeah. Who better than Joseph? Who better than Joseph? Yeah. I mean, you you talking about if, if they start showing off that passion and we can see that in the, in the, in the field, what a season. Yeah, I mean... Joseph's, uh, you saw it even in the limited time he had tonight. There were a couple times late in the game where he's turning on people and, and taking shots. And um, I'm not worried about him at all. Um, I'm really excited for the for the year. I think that we have a good team. Hats off to Brooks Lennon for taking a knock tonight. Um, that, that that looked pretty nasty. He, his, he was swollen up pretty good before he even got off the pitch. Indeed. Oh, nice. Yeah, it was horrible. Yeah, black on his face already. Yeah, indeed. Uh, we definitely like. Yeah, the second goal. Okay. Uh, yeah, some weird stuff happened there. Uh, our conceded goal. Uh, definitely just a little bit calamitous. But the third goal. Let's just talk about that one. I mean, ridiculous techers from Mulraney. Yeah. Right. I mean, I, I've been uh, admittedly a pretty harsh critic of him, but yeah, tech, tech, tech in it, man. Like. That that little Maradona he pulled, and um, I also love that Emerson Hyman gets rewarded. I mean, the guy mm-hmm. runs up and down the field all game long, and he was in the right area and finished it with conviction. So, yeah, I mean, when you have number bucks in attacking areas, like good things are going to happen. It, and that goal was spectacular if, if it would have gone in, but by not going in, I think it showed the importance of of how Hense is playing the game, the the team and and how he wants players to be attacking the box and and building up and I feel that is it talks about how it shows the importance of having a coach with I mean like attacking mentality and I mean heart, seeing, seeing playing with the heart seeing Heinze's reaction on mm-hmm. the sideline like that's that's what we want that's that's how i feel every time we score and it's exciting to see uh, a manager who's excited and um 
you know, living and dying with the ball because you know, that's what, that's what we, it should be about. Indeed, indeed. Uh, so, yeah, guys, we'll finish up with uh, how great it was to see fans back into the stadium. Uh, is that something that, uh, you know, you guys love to see tonight? Or Yes. Yeah, it's great. You know, the experience that you have at Mercedes-Benz Stadium is, is one, it's so unique. And to be able to have that again, I think is, there's no words to describe it, is there's nothing like being there and seeing the, the players and how the players get motivated, you know? They respond, they absolutely responded to the supporters. You could hear them on the broadcast. Um, you know, I tell it to every person I speak to, this club is about community. And part of community is getting together well, with those people and sharing in, sharing in what we all love. And it was exciting to see us get a convincing 3-1 three no, win tonight. Um, we've got a lot ahead of us. And, um, yeah, I mean, this is, I think, uh, signs of a good season to come. We've got a really quality team. We've got a, we've got a world-class manager. And we've got one. You know? Yeah. All right. It's awesome that people are coming back. Um, you know, it seemed like everybody that was there was having a good time. And I think we're getting to that point where it's, it's going to get safer and safer. And um, as long as everyone's being mindful of the rules and, you know, listening to the experts, I don't see any reason why we can't continue to enjoy this thing that we all love that brings us all together. Well said, gentlemen. Appreciate you guys' time, and we'll talk with you later.